So the number one question I get from people is, how do I improve my brain? I have to understand that <clears throat> our brain is the most complex biological structure in the known universe. So it's not that simple. It's, there's not like one magical trick, one thing that you can do and then, wow, the brain is improved and it's better and it's working magically well. So no, that's not how it works. My approach is based on microbiology. So we're talking neurogenesis here. Neurogenesis is the creation of new brain cells. And turns out that, um, it turns out that we can create up to five times more new brain cells or not, depending on what we do every day on our lifestyle choices. So high uh, neurogenesis rates correlates with things like high energy, optimism, positivism, but also resilience and um, mental sharpness. And the contrary is true as well. So a low neurogenesis rate correlates with things like depression and anxiety, a low energy. So, yeah, turns out it's more interesting to have a high uh, neurogenesis rate, right? So what can we do to do that? Um, basically, there are five things you can do that will, uh, if you do them, will improve your neurogenesis rate. And if you don't, will actually hurt it. It will lower the neurogenesis rate. And for you to make it easy to remember, I came up with a, I tried to summarize it and bring it down to five letters. L-M-N-O-P. That's, should... Well, my challenge now is to make you remember what LMNOP stands for, right? So the L, the first one. The L stands for love or social connection. So um, social connection is really important. Well, it will stimulate our neurogenesis, um, but it's not only love, right? It's trust, it's friendship, it's our colleagues getting uh, surrounded by people uh, we trust and, and um, who, who are positive. Now, the contrary, again, is true as well. If we, if we are surrounded by naysayers, by negative people, uh, by bullies, by bosses who are just pr uh, putting too much pressure on us, it will lower our neurogenesis rate. So that's for L. The second one is M, movement. There's this interesting theory that says that um, our brain evolved to coordinate movement. And if you think of it, plants and trees don't really have brains. So um, movement, yes, it's very important. However, this is what we usually look like uh, in the day, right? We're all behind our desk and we don't move a lot. At night we get home, we watch some more telly or we surf and, uh, on the internet and we're still not moving. Uh, whilst moving is really one of the bases for a healthy brain. The N stands for, um, L-M-N, yes, for novelty. Novelty, new experiences, having fun, trying out new things, getting out of our comfort zone. Because if you stay too long in your comfort zone, this happens. Well, not that bad, of course. It, but our brain will physically shrink. Eventually, it will turn out to be smaller. So L-M-N-O. O stands for omega-3, or your diet. Omega-3, well... When you look at your brain, uh, it's one uh, squishy blob and uh, it's basically fat and the, the best fat around is omega-3. Um, where do we get omega-3? We don't produce omega-3 ourselves. We need to get it our, out of our food and you get it out of uh, things like fatty fish, things like uh, nuts and seeds. By the way, I love the walnuts. They actually look like a brain, you know? So uh, <laughs> it's nature being poetic there. So L-M-N-O-P. P stands for pauses. Don't work uh, 10 hours straight. It, your brain will not follow. You need to take regular pauses. And the most important pause of all is sleep. It's what we do a third of our life. Sleep is extremely important to keep a healthy brain. It's really one of the fundamentals of our brain. Now. Um, we're living in a society where people are sleep deprived. You would, uh, less than seven hours of sleep is seen as sleep deprivation. And, um, well, scientists are really clear uh, regarding that. The shorter our sleep, the shorter our life. So if you sleep less than seven hours, please go and check it out. If there's only one thing you remember, please be it this one. It's really the ultimate cornerstone of our life, of our brain. So LMNOP love, movement, novelty, omega-3, and pauses. Take care of your brain, and it will take care of you. Thank you. Thank you, Gregory.